deprecating. Say it, deprecating. Deprecating is expressing disapproval, disapproving. What is expressing disapproval, disapproving? Say it. Deprecating. Mrs. Tulliver never went the length of quarrelling with her any more than a waterfowl that puts out its leg in a deprecating manner can be said to quarrel with a boy who throws stones. Deprecating. Expressing disapproval, disapproving. Superannuated. Say it. Superannuated. Superannuated is old and almost no longer suitable for work or use. What is old and almost no longer suitable for work or use? Say it. Superannuated. Tom took no notice of her, but took instead two or three hard peas out of his pocket and shot them with his thumbnail against the window, vaguely at first, but presently with the distinct aim of hitting a superannuated blue bottle which was exposing its imbecility in the spring sunshine, clearly against the views of nature, who had provided Tom and the peas for the speedy destruction of this weak individual. Superannuated, old and almost no longer suitable for work or use. Fervid. Say it. Fervid. Fervid is intensely enthusiastic or passionate, especially to an excessive degree. What is intensely enthusiastic or passionate, especially to an excessive degree? Say it. Fervid. Nevertheless, like all fervid writing, the task was done in less time than usual, and if the spelling differed from Mrs Glegg's, why, she belonged, like himself, to a generation with whom spelling was a matter of private judgment. Fervid. Intensely enthusiastic or passionate, especially to an excessive degree. Scythe. Say it. Scythe. Scythe is a tool with a long, sharp, curved blade and a long handle held in two hands, used especially to cut long grass. What is a tool with a long, sharp, curved blade and a long handle held in two hands, used especially to cut long grass? Say it. Scythe. It was that moment in summer when the sound of the scythe being wetted makes us cast more lingering looks at the flower-sprinkled trestles of the meadows. Scythe, a tool with a long, sharp, curved blade and a long handle held in two hands, used especially to cut long grass. Conciliate. Say it. Conciliate. Conciliate is to stop someone being angry or discontented. Placate. What is to stop someone being angry or discontented? Placate. Say it. Conciliate. In two minutes, Mr. Ran appeared at the door with very deferential bows, which, however, were far from conciliating Pug, who gave a sharp bark and ran across the room to reckon, reckon etch the stranger's legs. Conciliate. To stop someone being angry or discontented, placates. Gambling. Say it. Gambling. Gambling is running or jumping about playfully. What is running or jumping about playfully? Say it. Gambling. Hetty's was a springtide beauty. It was the beauty of young frisking things, round-limbed, gambling, circumventing you by a false air of innocence. The innocence of a young, young star-browed calf, for example. That being inclined for a promenade out of bounds leads you a severe steeplechase over hedge and ditch and only comes to a stand in the middle of a bog. Gambling, running or jumping about playfully. Time to consolidate. Look at the words and definitions on screen. Can you match the correct word to the correct definition out loud? 
Press pause now. Now check your answers. Press pause now. Protuberance. Say it. Protuberance. Protuberance is protruding, bulging. What is protruding, bulging? Say it. Protuberance. For how was it possible to believe that those long brown protuberant eyes in Silas Marner's pale face really saw nothing very distinctly that was not close to them? and not, rather, that, that their dreadful stare could dart cramp or rickets or a wry mouth at any boy who happened to be in the rear. Protuberant, protruding, bulging. Cajolery, say it, cajolery. Cajolery is coaxing or flattery intended to persuade someone to do something. What is Coaxing or flattery intended to persuade someone to do something? Say it. Cajolery. Dunson felt as if there must be a little frightening added to the cajolery, for his own ar arithmetical convictions were not clear enough to afford him any forcible demonstration as to the advantages of interest. Cajolery. Coaxery, coaxing or flattery intended to persuade someone to do something. Withering. Say it. Withering. Withering is severe and extremely critical. What is severe and extremely critical? Say it. Withering. Silas himself was feeling the withering desolation of that bereavement about which his neighbours were arguing at their ease. Withering, severe and extremely critical. Time to consolidate. What C is coaxing or flattery intended to persuade someone to do something? Write it down. Cajolery, coaxing or flattery intended to persuade someone to do something. What C is to stop someone being angry or discontented, placate. Write it down. Conciliate, to stop someone being angry or discontented, placate. What S is a tool with a long sharp curved blade and a long handle held in two hands used especially to cut long grass? Write it down. Scythe, a long tool with a long sharp curved blade and a long handle held in two hands used especially to cut long grass. What P is protruding, bulging? Write it down. Protuberant, protruding, bulging. Consecration, say it, consecration. Consecration is the action of making or declaring something, typically a church, sacred. What is the action of making or declaring something, typically a church, sacred? Say it. Consecration. In return, I can at least offer you an affection hitherto unwasted, and the faithful consecration of a life which, however short in the sequel, has no backward pages whereon, if you choose to turn them, you will find records such as might justly cause you either bitterness or shame. Consecration. The action of making or declaring something, typically a church, sacred. Imperturbable. Say it. Imperturbable. Imperturbable is unable to be upset or excited, calm. What is unable to be upset or excited, calm? Say it. 
imperturbable. Mr. Cadwallader was a large man, with full lips and a sweet smile, very plain and rough in his exterior, but with that solid, imperturbable ease and good humour which is infectious, and like great grassy hills in the sunshine, quiets even an irritated, irritated egoism and makes it rather ashamed of itself. Imperturbable. Unable to be upset or excited. Calm. Convulsive. Say it. Convulsive. Convulsive is movements of muscles in your body that you cannot control. What are movements of muscles in your body that you cannot control? Say it. Convulsive. Mr. Featherstone rubbed the knob of his stick and made a brief convulsive show of laughter, which had much the same genuineness as an old whist player's chuckle over a bad hand. Convulsive. Movements of muscles in your body that you cannot control. Time to consolidate. Look at the words and definitions on screen. Can you match the correct word to the correct definition out loud? Press pause now. Now check your answers. Press pause now. Remonstrance. Say it. Remonstrance. Remonstrance is a forcefully reproachful protest. What is a forcefully reproachful protest? Say it. Remonstrance. For she was resolved not to tell the Langens that any misfortune had befallen her family, or to make herself in any way indebted to their compassion, and, if she were to part with her jewellery to any observable extent, they would interfere by inquiries and remonstrances. Remonstrance. A forcefully reproachful protest. Fetters. Say it. Fetters. Fetters is a chain or manacle used to restrain a prisoner, typically placed around the ankles. What is a chain or manacle used to restrain a prisoner, typically placed around the ankles? Say it. Fetters. But to become a wife and wear all the domestic fetters of that condition was on the whole a vexatious necessity. Fetters a chain or manacle used to restrain a prisoner, typically placed around the ankles. Crinoline. Say it. Crinoline. Crinoline is a stiffened or hooped petticoat worn to make a long skirt stand out. What is a stiffened or hooped petticoat worn to make a long skirt stand out? Say it. Crinoline. This was the period when the broadening of gauge in crinoline seemed to demand an agitation for the general enlargement of churches, ballrooms and vehicles. Crinoline. A stiffened or hooped petticoat worn to make a long skirt stand out. Time to consolidate. Can you work out the missing word? Here we're looking for a word which means unable to be upset or excited. Calm. Write it down. Imperturbable. Can you work out this missing word? Here, we're looking for a word which means a stiffened or hooped petticoat worn to make a long skirt stand out. Write it down. Crinoline. And can you work out this missing word? We're now looking for a word which means a chain or manacle used to restrain a prisoner, typically placed around the ankles. Write this down. Fetters. 
and can you work out this missing word? Here we're looking for a word which means coaxing or flattery intended to persuade someone to do something. Write it down. Cajolery. Erudition. Say it. Erudition. Erudition is the quality of having or showing great knowledge or learning. Scholarship. What is the quality of having or showing great knowledge or learning? Scholarship. Say it. Erudition. There were inscriptions on the panels of the singing gallery telling of benefactions to the poor of Shepperton with an involuted elegance of capitals and final flourishes which my alphabetic erudition traced with ever new delight. Erudition. The quality of having or showing great knowledge or learning. Scholarship. Recalcitrance. Say it. Recalcitrance. Recalcitrant is having an obstinate, obstinately uncooperative attitude towards authority or discipline. What is having an obstinately uncooperative attitude towards authority or discipline? Say it. Recalcitrant. He might be slightly recalcitrant now and then, as is the habit of long-eared um, pachyderms under the thong of the fair countess's tongue. Recalcitrance, having an obstinately uncooperative attitude towards authority or discipline. Predicament, say it, predicament. Predicament is a difficult, unpleasant or embarrassing situation. What is a difficult, unpleasant or embarrassing situation? Say it. Predicament. You will then perceive that she was in the extremely inconvenient predicament of having quarrelled, not indeed with her bread and cheese, but certainly with her chicken and tart, a predicament all the more inconvenient to her because the habit of idleness had quite unfitted her for earning those, necess ne those necessary superfluities, and because, with all her fascinations, she had not secured any enthusiastic friends whose houses were open to her and who were dying to see her. Predicament. A difficult, unpleasant or embarrassing situation. Time to consolidate all words now, dear listener. What S is old and almost no longer suitable for work or use? Write it down. Superannuated. What D is expressing disapproval? Disapproving. Write it down. Deprecating. What F is intensely enthusiastic or passionate, especially to an excessive degree? Write it down. Fervid. What C is to stop someone being angry or discontented? Placate. Write it down. Conciliate. What S is a tool with a long, sharp, curved blade and a long handle held in two hands, used especially to cut long grass? Write it down. Scythe. What G is running or jumping about playfully? Write it down. Gambling. What P is protruding? 
bulging. Write it down. Protuberance. And what W is severe and extremely critical. Write it down. Withering. What C is coaxing or flattery intended to persuade someone to do something? Write it down. Cajolery. And what C is the action of making or declaring something, typically a church, sacred? Write it down. Consecration. And also what C is movements of muscles in your body that you cannot control? Write it down. Convulsive. What I is unable to be upset or excited? Calm. Write it down. Imperturbable. What F is a chain or manacle used to restrain a prisoner, typically placed around the ankles? Write it down. Fetters. What C is a stiffened or hooped petticoat worn to make a long skirt stand out? Write it down. Crinoline. What R is a forcefully reproachful protest? Write it down. Remonstrance. Also, what R is having an obstinately uncooperative attitude towards authority or discipline? Write it down. Recalcitrance. What E is the quality of having or showing great knowledge or learning? Scholarship. Write it down. Erudition. What P is a difficult, unpleasant or embarrassing situation? Write it down. Predicament. Here's a list showing all the words used in this podcast. Deprecating, superannuated, fervid, scythe, conciliating, gambling, protuberant, cajolery, withering, consecration, imperturbable, convulsive, remonstrances, fetters, crinolines, erudition, recalcitrant, predicament. This has been a Schofield on Shakespeare production, helping boost your understanding of 19th century vocabulary and including sentences taken from the works of George Eliot. Many thanks for watching.